everybody. Um, as promised from my last YouTube video, I would I said that I'd try and get more content out because now I've basically got nothing to do for who knows how long, who knows, and I thought what video could I do that, I don't know, will be really happy, joyful, fun, and I think it was yesterday or the other day, one of my favourite Disney vloggers, our So Martin and Helena, and I saw that they did a Disney song tag, and I, I enjoy doing Disney videos, especially Disney tags, so I thought this would be quite fun to do, and yeah, and if you're watching, I hope you enjoy, and yeah. So I thought I'd get started, so ignore the vibrating just because I had to get on the computer to get the questions, so there might be a few background noises, but it'll be fun. So the first question is, what was the first Disney song you ever heard? That's hard. Um, I think, for me growing up as a small child, obviously, Disney was everything, like, and I do remember watching things like Cinderella, which I was obsessed with, Snow White, Cinderella, so probably the first Disney song I ever heard would have been either Hi Ho or a dream is a wish your heart makes because and for me I think a dream a wish a dream is a wish your heart makes it's sort of one of them songs that not emotional but it's just it's special and I did a, I do admit that I did get very emotional when I saw the Cinderella section on my birthday at Disney on Ice, especially because it had Goofy in it, which was so cute, and yeah, I did have, shed a few tears then, so yeah. Um, the second question, what is the most clima climatic, climactic Disney song you've ever heard? Ooh. Um, <laughs> these are so hard. I think for me, right, this has got a sort of a story because in primary school, a long, long, long time ago, we did a Leavers assembly, not assembly, a Leavers production in, well, in year five and year six. And in year five, we were in Lion King and Obviously performing Lion King was so much fun. I was a flower because I was only year five and obviously all the big parts were given to year six. I was a flower and I think one of the songs we always loved to perform was Circle of Life just because it was really fun and like that was the whole start of the production with like the like yeah it just it got you so pumped and ready to go for the show and I always loved singing it and yeah, I just love it. So definitely Circle of Life, Lion King. Number three, what is the saddest Disney song you've ever heard? Okay, I've got three because I just can't pick one. So this is going to be hard. So I've got my top three sad Disney songs is the start to up that always makes me emotional and especially when I went to Disneyland Paris in 2017 February because all the time whenever you walk through the parks up music is playing and I don't know why they did this to me but as soon as like I walked up to the castle was literally stood right in front of it just looking at it in awe and like not believing I was there the saddest bit of the upstart music started playing and that just set me off 
emotional. I was a wreck, like, not gonna lie, I was a wreck. So probably that one as number three. Number two, I'm gonna say When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. It's such a cute song. I love the story and I love how when the music's playing you have the story of Jessie and if you don't know, Jessie's one of my favourite characters in Toy Story. I love her to pieces, like I love her. And number one for me is from Beauty and the Beast 2017 live action version. And it's how does a moment last forever but when Belle sings it and I remember just breaking down in the cinema. Like I went to the cinema to see the film like two or three times and every time that scene came on and when she was singing I was crying. So definitely that song. Um, what is the happiest Disney song you've ever heard? Oh. I think, for me, the happiest Disney song, ooh, oh my god, that's so hard, because there's so many, like, uplifting, really fun Disney songs that make me smile, but one of them is, without a doubt, Some Things Never Change from Frozen 2, because that song is just, like, I could be listening to my playlist, that song would come on and it would just make me so happy, like I love it. Oh, hang on, I've realised that I missed out another song from the saddest Disney songs and I know I, well, this is going to be quite controversial because the first time I heard the song in the film I wasn't, I wasn't too much of a fan of it and then I just continued to listen to it, see the scene again and every time it just made me feel really sad and it's because of what Disney did with the character and it's Anna's song from Frozen 2, The Next Right Thing and it is stunning, it's such a nice song, it's heartbreaking, the scene is just so depressing but it's so good because Anna just gets that moment and it's like yes but um yeah so I do think the happiest Disney song is definitely I forgot what I said some things never change yeah really like that one um which Disney song would you listen to at the gym Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't really go to the gym, so I think if I did and I had to listen to a Disney song at the gym, I think it would have to be Prince Ali, but from the Aladdin live action version that Will Smith does because it's amazing. Every time I have a shower, it has to be played because I just, I love it. And I mean, I love Robin Williams as the genie and I love that song. And obviously I've had interactions from the genie during that song at Disney on Ice. But this version, it just, it's so dramatic. And again, I do think it probably is one of my favourites. So yeah, I love it. Um... Which is your guilty pleasure Disney song? This is easy. My Disney guilty pleasure song is definitely It's a Small World. Ever since going on the ride, listening to the song, it just, it brings me so much joy because the ride is terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, the dolls, are, some of them are quite scary, but I love it and if you go to a Disney park you have to go on It's a Small World. It's just, it's one of the best rides, I'm putting it out there, I love it, I really love it and yeah, yeah I love it. But my other guilty pleasure 
is actually from the Disney Parks, which is the Stars on Parade soundtrack and the soundtrack to Illuminations. Amazing, just amazing. Um, which Disney song do you find the most peaceful? Ooh. Hmm. I think for me it's probably I See the Light from Tangled because it's such a cute song, it's such a cute moment from the film and it's just it's adorable and I absolutely love it like I don't have a bad word to say about it it's so cute and the whole film is just stunning so definitely I see the light yeah love it um which Disney song do you never get bored of hmm I think for me, the Disney song I can never get bored of is, oh my god, this is so hard, oh I don't know, Disney song I can never get bored of, I'm going to have to do more than one, so, Friend Like Me, just because it's epic, Gaston, but again, the live action Beauty and the Beast 2017 version. And Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride from Lilo and Stitch. I love it. So, yeah. Um, which Disney song makes you want to get up and dance? This question again, easy. 100% it's got to be I've Got a Dream from Tangled. I... It always makes me feel like I'm part of the film. Like when I'm listening to it, I can just picture the whole scene. I can picture the characters, what they're doing, which one's singing, and yeah, I just love it. So yeah, love it. Um, and recently after finally watching a Goofy movie, I don't know the name of the song just because I've only seen the film once now but since falling in love with it, falling even more in love with Goofy and Max, it's got to be, I think it's, it's the first song in the film, like the, um, when he's having his last day at school I think it is or something, I just can't remember, yeah it's the last day before summer holidays and it's just a really nice fun song and again it's a typical Disney song so I love it. Um, which Disney song do you think is the most underrated? Oh god. Hmm. God. <laughs> this is hard. Because there are quite a few that are underrated but it's in my opinion and I know someone else's opinion might be different but for me it's probably going to be Days in the Sun from Beauty and the Beast remake I love it and yeah it's again it's a nice little chilling chill out song nice to have a sing along to it's cute and yeah it's just it's really really sweet i love it um which disney song do you think is the most overrated this is easy actually another one for most underrated is mother knows best from tangled if you don't know, Mother Gothel is one of my favourite villains and one of my favourite songs is that one. I absolutely love it. So yeah. But which Disney song do I think is the most overrated? Let It Go, Frozen. Like, don't get me wrong, I do like the song, but I've heard it so many times that it's just... It's annoying now and I just 
like Frozen 2 has a better soundtrack in my opinion. It's a better film, better soundtrack, the characters are much better and I just love it. Um, which Disney song did you once love but now don't? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Oh, god. Okay, so. Oh, this is so hard. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I think for me. Okay, so <laughs> the one that I used to love but now don't because I've probably heard it so many times is for the first time in forever but the um not the reprise version because I really like that but the the normal song because just because in Frozen, the first film, I find Anna really annoying and I just find this song really annoying. Like it is a good song but it's just, it's not one of the good ones. Like there are so much better Frozen songs on the first soundtrack like In Summer, like the reprised version of the first time in forever and Fixer Upper. Like, all them songs, good. All the other ones are annoying. Sorry. Sorry Frozen fans. <laughs> but Frozen 2. Stunning. Um, <clears throat> what happened to my voice there? Let's carry on. Which Disney score is one of your favourites? Okay. So for this, I'm going to do top three. So I'm going to say Beauty and the Beast, but live action version, Aladdin, live action version, and Frozen 2. Like, on all of them three, there's not a song that I hate or that I don't listen to. So yeah, I just love them three so much. I do think out of them though, Frozen 2 is my favourite because every single song, even like the Panic at the Disco version of Into the Unknown or any of the other songs that have been remade are just stunning, amazing and I love them so Frozen 2, definitely. Okay, so number 14, which Disney song is your favourite from your least favourite Disney movie? Oh. Okay, so my least favourite Disney movie is probably 101 Dalmatians just because I've seen it a lot and it's quite short and some Disney movies I prefer to be quite long. Um, my favourite song from that film is Cruella de Vil. Yeah, I don't really have much more to say about that. Um, finally, the last question is, which Disney song is your least favourite from your favourite Disney movie? Oh God, um, I've got to pick my favourite Disney movie now. Okay, so my favourite Disney movie What is my favourite? Okay, so I'm going to say that my favourite Disney movie of all time... Oh, I don't know! I might have to do a top three because I just can't choose. Okay, so... <laughs> top three is Aladdin, the classic Aladdin though. Frozen 2 
and Beauty and the Beast live action. From Beauty and the Beast live action, my least favourite song is probably Kill the Beast. No, what's it called? What's it called? The Mob Song. That's it. <laughs> I forgot for a second. From Tangled is probably... Oh no, I didn't say Tangled, did I? No, I said Aladdin, sorry. From Aladdin, it's probably one jump ahead. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that song. And from Frozen 2, probably Reindeers Are Better Than People, just because it's very short. But yes, guys, so that was my Disney song tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought or maybe what your answers would have been to certain questions. And yeah, well, I'll see you very, very soon, hopefully, with more content. And I just wanted to say that I love these ears so much. My Donald ears and my Donald spirit jersey. Um, just showed my bum, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, stay safe guys and remember just stay positive, keep smiling and Disney can bring us so much happiness but yeah. So this is Redhead Boo signing off. See you guys later. Bye.